Welcome Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Asian known store trashed by man with metal pole. 2. Trump wishes happy Easter to radical left crazies who want to destroy our country. Charlotte, North Carolina. An Asian owned convenience store in Charlotte, North Carolina was trashed by a man who wielded a metal post and yelled racial slurs, according to police and a son of the store's owners. The incident occurred on Tuesday near the Charlotte Transit Center. Security footage seen by the observer shows a man swinging a street signpost into the refrigerators at the Plaza Sundries. The man can also be seen pulling a merchandise rack to the floor. Despite the increase in attention on such attacks, the violence and racially charged language was nothing new, said Mark Sung, whose parents own the store, and his wife Grace Lee Sung because some people blaming the coronavirus on the store's owners even though they have lived in the US for decades since moving from South Korea. Charlotte Mecklenburg police said a company that's responsible for security at the transit center arrested Xavier Rossi Woody Silas, and he was arrested for robbery with a dangerous weapon, communicating threats, disorderly conduct, injury to personal property and resisting a public officer, according to public records. Hate crimes nationally against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders have increased 150 percent during the pandemic, according to a study by the Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism at California State University, San Bernardino. Trump Trump wishes happy Easter to radical left crazies who want to destroy our country. To celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, former President Donald Trump put aside his resentment towards his political opponents by sending out a heartwarming Easter message to all. Former President Donald Trump has previously called Easter a special day, suggesting it's important to him. So, it's not surprising that he made one of his rare post-White House statements Sunday. It's also not surprising that his latest brief message includes a shot at his political opponents and another baseless accusation that the presidential election was stolen from him. Happy Easter to all, including the radical left crazies who rigged our presidential election and want to destroy our country. The tone of the message is a fairly classic Trump maneuver. He's previously wished a happy new year to my many enemies and those who have fought me and lost so badly they just don't know what to do and, perhaps most infamously, he once treated his best wishes to all, even the haters and losers on the 2013 anniversary of the September 11th attacks. The inclusive message comes on the heels of a damning report from the New York Times that revealed Trump's 2020 re-election campaign allegedly swindled supporters into making recurring donations without their consent. According to the Times' investigation of Federal Election Commission records, the campaign was forced to issue a whopping $122.7 million in refunds to supporters in 2020. The report explains that after the Democrats began to outspend the Trump re-election bid, the campaign then duped donors by setting up recurring donations by default for online donors, for every week until the election. The report goes on to say that the option to opt out was hidden in a fine print disclaimer, and as the election neared, the Trump team made that disclaimer increasingly opaque. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.